Hi guys, in this video I will be using a wig that I already have that I got from Amazon. This is the second one. I will be filling later, but right now we're going to do the old wig. Here's a bundle of hair that I also purchased from Prime by Medulla. It is 18 inches and I will be filling in my old wig with this hair just to give it more volume. So I'm going to only take half of this bundle and add it to this wig and I'm going to take the other half and add it to my new wig that I showed you earlier. Okay, so from this point I just made sure that the wig was placed 30 onto this mannequin and stretched it out as far as possible just to make sure that it is fitting correctly once I'm done sewing it. Then I went in between the spaces on the wig of the cap where I had enough room to add a track. Once I was done sewing everything in, I went back and washed this wig out because this was one that I had worn. It has the glue and everything on it. So I'm just removing it and refreshing it up the hair and doing a nice little conditioning on it, getting it ready to apply. So now I will be prepping her for air dry. Um, I am going to add a little mousse in her hair so that the curls are defined as it's blow drying and to ease the frizz. This mousse I got from the beauty supply. Uh, just get any type of wig, wig mousse for setting, like a setting lotion, but in a foam form. And I applied it through and through while it's wet. Again, that's to keep the curls more defined and soft and alleviate the frizz as it's drying. Okay, time to apply her now that she's dry. And as you can see, the curls are still a little bit more defined in opposed to air drying with nothing on it. So this is a primer that I got from the Beauty Supply. You apply this to your edges first. It's almost like applying the alcohol. No difference. It does have like a sticky tack to it. I think it helps hold the glue in place and keep you from sweating it out real quick. So I'll apply that first and let that dry.
Now I will be applying the Even Bond Spray on top of where I sprayed the primer. And this is where I will lay my wig at. Okay, so now it's time to just slay these edges. I'm not a pro at it, but I do my best. So I use the hot comb first and then lay some got to be glue on it so that it can be slick, child. I need these edges to lay down smooth. After I lay my edges down, I do take needle and thread and stitch that back on the back braid. I do remove all the combs, any hooks because they irritate. If they pull on my hair, I can't take it. I'm tender headed. So I do stitch the back down. After I tie my edges down, I go back through and add some more mousse to give my curls back the definition that it had before I start playing with it. And I add a little water 